adding up to 1,000. For these problems, we will be adding up to 1,000. Now, remember, a problem can be solved in many different ways, but you need to choose which one suits you best, which one makes the most sense to you. All right, so let's solve this problem here. We have 488 plus 339. Let's break up this problem. Let's make it easier. So why don't we add 12? If we add 12 to the 488, we must subtract 12 from the 339. Now by adding 12 to the 488, we get a nicer number, 500. So this is easier to work with. 500 plus 327 equals, as we can easily see, 827. Therefore, 488 plus 339 equals 827. Now we have 246 plus 158. So let's make this easier. Let's add 4. So if we add 4 to this number, we must subtract 4 to the other number. All right, so now we have 250 plus 154. So if this is still too difficult, we can break it up even further. So now we can break it up to 150 and 4. So now we add 250 plus 150, and we know that equals 400, and now we just have to add 4 more. See, it makes it much easier. So we know that this problem equals 404. All right, let's move on and do yet another problem. We see here 391 plus 326. So this time we will add 9 and then subtract 9 to the other number. So by adding 9, we get to 400. And by subtracting 9 from the 326, we get now 317. We can easily figure out this problem. So this equals 717. Now we see 469 plus 112. So how can we make this problem easier? So 469, and now let's break up the 112 into a 100, a 10, and a 2. So let's begin. Let's add 100 first, so that equals 569, so we can cross out the 100. Now let's move on to the 10, so that equals 500. 79, and now we just have the 2 left. So what does that equal? Very good, 581. Okay, 364 plus 147. So let's break this number up into a 300, a 60, and a 4. Okay, and how can we break up this number? Yes, into a 100, a 40, and a 7. Okay, so let's solve this now. So let's first do the biggest numbers. So 300 plus 100 equals 400. Okay, cross them off, and now we do the 60 plus the 40, and we know that equals 100, and now we just have the 4 and the 7, so that equals 11. Okay, so we just add them all up. So what does that equal? 
Very good. 511. Great work and good luck solving your next math problems.